हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैं जी राकेश संजय सिंह साइंस टीचर इन संत पंचम सेकेंडरी इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो आई टीच द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स साइंस एंड आल्सो इन साइंस द चैप्टर इज लाइट शैडो एंड इमेज चैप्टर थर्टी लाइट शैडो एंड इमेज एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो इन दिस पार्ट we all study some special features about shadow and also eclipse in a starting we all try to know about shadow what is shadow <coughs> in general way it is said that shadow is a dark patch for when any opaque object come in the way of light source suppose this is a chalk and also in night when we glow a dot on in the front of the chalk then the light flow from it pass away and also this is an opaque object so there is a dark patch for at the behind of this chalk this is called shadow it means light does not pass through the opaque object so any opaque object come in front of the light source so they have no capacity to pass away the light and also there is a dark patch for behind this object this is called shadow and it is also black in color so shadow For forming the shadow, light sources must be needed, and also some features related to shadow. Shadows for only when the light is blocked by an opaque object. Shadow for when light is blocked by an opaque object. I am also saying this. Shadows show only dark region of the object, and also it does not show any color. So there is no any color of shadow. Their color is only black. Next picture. Shadow may or may not resemble the actual shape of the object. May or may not resemble the actual shape of object. It means. Shadow is for. This is also of the size of the opaque object, and also may be or may not be. Their size is also large, and their size is also smaller to the real object. So the shadow of the object varies every time, and also depends on light source. Next. Shadow for only on a screen. A screen must be needed for forming a shadow. Without any screen, we could not see the shadow of any object. Okay, got it. Next, size of shadow depend on the position of light source. Suppose this is a duster, and it is also a opaque object. When we Blue light in front of them. Suppose this is duster and also this is torch, and also their distance is. When we increase their distance, then their shadow becomes a small and a smaller. When we move from the opaque object far and far, their shadow becomes a small and a small. When we come near the opaque object, then their shadow start increasing, and their size large and larger becomes large and larger. So the shadow of the object depend on the light source. Now second topic, eclipse. What is eclipse? It is said that in our universe. Large number of planets and heavenly bodies present, and they move here and there, and many also on their axis. So their rotation and revolution also always occurs. 
during this condition we all know about solar system sun and their family is called solar system in this solar system the sun is largest this sun is largest and also earth and moon moon is the satellite of our planet earth and also sun is a star so one star one planet and one satellite this is the combination of these three sun moon and earth so eclipse what is eclipse eclipse is the condition when these three sun earth and moon during the process of revolution come in a straight line and this condition is also called eclipse eclipse is the condition where both the all the three sun moon and earth come in a straight line this condition create the condition eclipse and this eclipse also two types solar eclipse and lunar eclipse lunar and solar eclipse we all try to know about live solar eclipse at first we are try to know about solar eclipse by this figure this is the figure in which the first we will see that there is a sun this is the star and also second is moon and after them earth during the revolution they all come in a straight line sometimes during their revolution they come in a straight line and this condition created eclipse when moon come between sun and earth during the revolution then the light coming out from the sun also blocked by the opaque object moon and their shadow fall on the and this condition is called solar eclipse this moon also block the light of sun on the body of the earth surface and this condition is called solar eclipse and just because of this called lunar eclipse in the case of lunar eclipse light body down on this and also in this case this the light coming from the sun this blocked by earth and also we could not see the moon because you all know that moon also give us light only by the reflection of light from the sun it means light ray coming from the sun falling down from the moon surface and also this moon reflect the light on the earth so we are able to see the moon so this condition create lunar eclipse so there are some common difference between this when earth come in between sun and moon this condition is called lunar eclipse when moon come in between sun and earth this is called solar eclipse so in this part of video we all study about shadow and eclipse now i conclude this video thank you